Hey, good evening, everyone. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Hey there, guys. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Good evening. Hey, yes, hello, teacher. hello, hello, guys. Nice to see you here. All right, so I'm nice not sure to see you too. How are you? How was your day, guys? How's everything? Pretty well. It's good. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right. Nice, nice, nice. It's been pretty busy for me today. Hey, do you like my background? There you go. <laughs> Very nice. nice. Do you see my background? Do you see my virtual background? Pretty cool, huh? It looks good in you. Yes, I like it. I like it. I like it more than, you know, my green walls, right? Yeah. Anyways, guys, so what, what's good? Yeah, so, you know, what, what's going on? So how was work today? Work was okay for me today. Work was okay for you today? Nice. Yeah, what do you I do for a living? Relax. What do you do? So, so what do you Excuse do? Excuse me? What, what do you do for a living? Well, I work as a driver. I do transportation for uh, people from airport to the city and I mean to the hotels and also to their houses. Oh, so, nice. uh, okay, that's called shows. My work is like 24-7. Nice, nice, nice. Right. Yeah, I, that's what I do. Shuttle. Shuttles. Okay. Nice. Shuttle nice. drivers. So, uh, yeah. And and I would like to ask for permit, uh, for permission tomorrow because I have a, a customer coming in around seven. Uh, I think your connection cut off, but uh, don't worry, you can you can you can tell me about it. Anyways, guys, right? Welcome back, guys. Um, we're gonna start now. Uh, thank you for being here early, guys. I see that most of you are connected oh, already. Uh, I think your connection your, your your connection was lagging a little bit, so uh, I couldn't understand everything you said. But uh, yes, you you do have permission. Just just uh, if you can connect from your cell phone, go ahead and do so. Okay. That would be great. All right. Yeah, I'll try to connect uh, to the meeting. I mean, while the, the the customer is coming out, so I I might I might be in the class maybe for half of hour or maybe fifty minutes. I don't know, but I have to shut down once I start driving. All right. All right. Nice. Okay. No problem. Okay. I understand. No problemo. Thank you very much. Anyways, guys, okay. All right, guys, so let's get started today, guys. We're gonna talk about past participle adjectives and how we use them to describe problems, okay? So we're gonna base, you know, we're gonna focus on using this in real life, okay? All right, before we even start, guys, uh, who has an idea of what past participles and adjectives and nouns are? Who can tell me? Uh-huh, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna pick people without the camera turned on, okay? Um, go ahead, Francisco. I, I, did you wanna say something, Francisco? Uh, oh, well, I was trying to check my connection, but uh, I'm, I'm okay now. So yeah, past participle is like uh, when I say uh, example, I say I was driving. That's what I understand for past participle. Okay, so driving, or I was driving, that's a past participle, all right, very good. Um, okay, all right. I'm gonna explain to you what's a, what a past participle is, guys, all right? Uh, that is not a past participle, we're gonna get there. Uh, Jocelyn, what do you think a past participle is, Jocelyn? I have to go ahead. 
Uh, when you describe something like it's in the past, I don't know. All right, describing something in the past. Okay, all right, very good. Uh, that that's also not <laughs> not correct, but again, um, we're gonna see. Okay, no worries. Selena, hello, Selena. Uh, Kalena, Kalena. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kalena. Hey, hello. Kalena. Ni nice hello, to meet you. Uh, I'm not sure if you nice were here yesterday. I don't think you were here yesterday. How are you? See, si, so sorry. Fine, I'm fine. Thank you. Nice How meeting you. you. I I'm excellent. Okay. Uh, nice, nice meeting you. Um, do, do me a favor. Why don't you do a quick introduction just so. So you can get to know you a little bit. Okay, thank you. Uh, hello, everybody. I'm Kalena Martel. But my real name is Carmen Elena Martel. But I like to, everyone told me Kalena. So hey, that's cool. So I'm happy to be here. Uh, yesterday, I'm, unfortunately, I, I couldn't. And, and, and I'm happy to be here. All right. Okay. Good job. All right. Welcome, Kalena, and applause for Kalena. Guys. Thank well you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Very good. So, Kalena, do you have any previous knowledge on what a past participle, an adjective, or a noun is? A past participle is is the form of, of a verb that you use a uh, e uh, and. I am in, at the end. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you at were. The ending. <laughs> you were very close. Okay, you were very close. Okay, almost. Okay, right. You're you're very close, but that's not it. All right, that is okay. not a past participle. Uh, yes, I, I heard somebody else. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right. Uh, Irena Hernandez. Hello, Irena. So, uh, tell us what do you think a past participle is. Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Uh, well, let me remember. I think I I forgot the class. All right. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> hey, it happens, right? It happens to the vessel. To I'm the vessel. So sorry. No, no, no problem. Okay, thank you very much. Right. Okay. So, guys, right, let's talk about let's talk about that. The agenda for today, guys. Okay. Um, uh, we're gonna talk about past participles, adjectives. And uh, describing problems with part uh, with past participles as adjectives and nouns. Okay, I forgot to add nouns there, right? But we're gonna talk about using them for nouns as well. Okay, with nouns too, right? So that's the agenda for today. Okay, so what is the objective of of this first section, guys? So the objective is to um to whatever you're gonna read right now. Hold on, I'm choosing. Rafael Escobar. Hello, Rafael. Will you please help me read, Rafa? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm excellent, man. How about you? Um, good. Thanks. All right. So, uh, help me read. Excuse me? Uh, could you please help me read? Yeah, yeah. By the end of this, this, by the end of this lecture, participants will be able to describe problems with past participants participle as adjective and with nouns. Very good. Good job. Thank you, Rafa. Okay, right. Guys, I told you I was going to help you with pronunciation, right? How do we pronounce this, guys? Lecture. Lecture. Very good. Okay, repeat, Rafa. Lecture. Repeat, lecture. Le lecture. Very good. Mm -hmm. Lecture. Right. How do we pronounce this, guys? Problems. Problems. Pro repeat, guys. Problems. Problems. All right. So what happened there is that you forgot to pronounce the S, okay? Same here. Mm -hmm. You say participle and not participle. Right? Very good, right? Great job. Thank you very much, right? So, all right. So uh, this is the objective, guys, to uh, learn how to describe problems using past participles and adjectives, okay? Now, the answers that you were giving me, that's funny because um, you were talking about uh, present participles, okay? And the present participle is the, or, you know, the ing form of the verb, you know? So present participles are the ing forms of the verbs, right? So um, so it's different, okay? This is a past participle. Anyways, okay, so what is the past participle, all right? Um, let's see, Luis Molina, tell us what, what a past participle is, please. Over here. The past participle of verbs one of two past forms. 
as an English, as an English student, you've uh, probably studied some irregular verbs, seeing in a list consisting of three words, the infinitive, the simple task, and the past participle. Very good. Okay, good job. Thank you. Plus for Luis, guys. Well done. High five to you, Luis. Okay, right. Okay. Repeat, thank you. Luis. Repeat, okay? Oh. Verb. You have to Herb. put on the body and verb. Verb. All right. Now open your mouth Herb. and try to speak louder, okay? Because it sounds like you're you're muffling. Oh, you know, okay. like like you're um you're um mumbling, you know? You need to open your mouth, right? Verb. Verb. Very good. Forms. Verb. Repeat forms. Form. 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 All right. Student. Student. <coughs> you've. Repeat you. You've. You. All right. Studied. Study. All right. Don't Studied. say A, guys. There is no Studied. A. All right. Studied. 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 No, don't say A. No, don't say A, guys. Studied. Studied. Very good. Okay. All right. Infinitive. 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 All right, very good, guys. Good job. Okay, <clears throat> very good. Okay, so uh, let's see. Daisy, hello, Daisy. Hello, Hi, Daisy. Sir. Um, so do my favor, guys. Okay, I'm gonna ask Daisy to give me uh to to help me read here. You know the example that we have, but I want you to be thinking about the example that you are going to be giving. Me, okay. All right. So the infinitive verb of uh. Let's talk about the past, the, the past simple form of the verb be. Uh, Daisy, what is the, the past simple form of the verb be? Was, where. Was and where, very good. Okay. What is the past participle? Been. Been, okay, been, very good. Been. Okay, been, okay. So be, I, be, was and been, okay. Now, uh, let's, let's see. Um, Daisy, pick someone. I don't know. Pick someone who looks like Shakira. <laughs> Just pick someone. Daisy. All right. So I'm gonna pick guys here. Okay, Alejandro. Thank you very much, Alejandro. Hey, Alex. All right. Give me another verb. Um. <laughs> got well got okay give me a give me a verb in the infinitive oh. form okay, infinitive form uh, get okay very good okay get right very good guys so remember guys the past participle is the the, the third form of the verb okay all right so what is the past simple of get miguel my favorite guys, if you're not if you're not talking, please mute yourselves just so so we can, you know, um, be un uninterrupted. Okay, thank you. Yes, uh, Miguel, I'm so sorry for interrupting. you. Go ahead. Oh, okay, the first thing for uh, forget is God. All right, God. Okay, very good. Prepare more examples, guys. I'm going to ask everyone. Okay, thank you very much. Right. Um, let's see, Francisco. Okay, what would be the past participle of of God? Could be getting. Nothing. All right. Now, remember, guys, the past participle talks about the past, right? When you say the ing form, that's not the past. So, the the past participle of God is gotten. 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 Okay. Repeat, guys. Gotten. 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 All right. Gotten. And it's gotten. also, guys. By the way, right? It's also got. Okay. So it's got too. All right. Yeah, Usually gotten. people say got. Okay, very good. Uh, thank you, right? That was great. Alejandro, uh, give me another verb, Alejandro. Um, right? Right, uh, like, like this, right? Uh, yeah, like this. <laughs> well, uh, I, I said. Okay, right. All right, well, let's, let's, let's talk about right, okay? What is the past of right? Janet, Ayala. World. Okay, wrote, repeat guys, wrote. 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 Okay, wrote. wrote, okay. Wrote. 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 Okay, wrote. Very good, okay. All right, very good. I wrote her a letter, right? Very good. Uh, and what is the past participle form? Written. 
Written. written. Repeat, guys. Written. 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 Okay, very good. Okay. Uh, Sonia, right? Give me another verb, Sonia. Do me a favor. Everybody else, send me an example of an infinitive, of the past form of that infinitive, and the past participle form in the chat, okay? While everybody else is participating. So, Sonia, go ahead. Brown. You mean round or run? Run. 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 Okay, run. run. Okay, run. Yeah. I run. Uh, all right, very good. What is the past uh, form of run? Run. 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 Ran, ran, guys, ran, okay. Ran, ran, ran okay. Ran. The, the, the past simple is ran, okay. What is the past participle? Run. Run, okay. Run. Right, it's run, not ruin, guys. Run, okay. Run. Very good. Um, Juan Hernandez, okay. Guys, give me, uh, can you give me a, um, a regular verb? Right? All of these verbs are regular verbs, guys. Okay, give me a regular one. What about walk? What is the past simple of walk? Wait. Walking. Walked. Okay. Repeat, guys. Walked. 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 All right, do this, guys. Walked. Okay, all right. This is a rule for media endings, okay? Um, I don't know. Who has gotten COVID here, guys? Did you get COVID and survived? What? Did you get, co did you get COVID and survived? No? Oh. Who's, who's, been, who's gotten COVID? Who got coronavirus? Nobody? Nobody. All right. Nobody. Who's who's gotten who who uh who has come down uh with the flu guys? Flu. All right, very good. What happens when you when you're sick? What happens? What's the sound that you make when you sneeze? <laughs> right? Everybody, everybody do this, okay? <laughs> do it, guys. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay. No. So that's how you pronounce the past of walk. Walk. All right, walk. walked. Everybody walked. Walked. Very good. Walked. Right. Nice. <coughs> All right. So, what is the past participle of walked? Of, of walked. Walked. All right. Walked. It walked. is the same, right? Because it, same. it is regular. Okay. Now, guys. Okay. I think we have a better understanding of what a past participle is. Okay. So now, what do I want to get at here, guys? Okay. All right. This, guys. All right. Is used for usually, usually, guys. Okay. Infinities are used in the present. Yeah, right? Yes? All right. These are usually used in what tense, guys? What do you think? Past. All right. And simple past, okay? Simple past. All right. And simple past, okay? All right. And the third form, these are used, guys, okay? These are used with perfect tenses okay all right perfect tenses right i don't have space to to uh to continue writing here but perfect tenses okay it's the past of the past all right so that is a past participle okay so that's what it says the past participle of a verb is one of the two past forms you probably uh, the infinity the simple past of the past part right so the third form of the verb, okay all right, anyways, so um, did we understand, guys? Do we have an understanding of, of what a past participle is now? A past participle verb? Yes, teacher, I understand. Okay, all right, very good. If you have a question, guys, don't hesitate on asking me, okay? All right, guys, so let's, let's move on, okay? So now let's talk about adjectives, okay? Now it is important, guys. The reason why we're gonna we're, why we're just you know uh, quickly reviewing what an adjective and a past participle is is because it's gonna be very important for the topic today. Okay, what's an adjective, guys? Who has an idea of what an adjective is? Uh, let's see. Uh, Janet, I was gonna pick you, Janet. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Is what uh, describe to the noun? Beautiful. Okay, applause for Janet, guys. Very good. Okay, right. An adjective describes the noun. Very good. Okay. An adjective describes a noun, guys, or a pronoun, right? Awesome. Okay. All right, guys. I like that. I like your answer. That was that was amazing. Okay, thank you guys. Keep sending me your examples, guys. I only see Francisco and Miguel, right? So, anyways, right? It is what describes the noun. That was a beautiful 
and uh, accurate explanation, okay? So, um, so Francisco Rivas, all right, Francisco. So tell us, right? Tell us what an adjective is according to the description we have here. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Hello? Yes, yes, Francisco. Uh, would you please tell us what an adjective is? Okay, uh, adjectives are words that describe the qualities or states of being of nouns. Enormous, dog like, silly, yellow, fun, fast. They can also describe the quantity of nouns. Many, few, millions, 11. Beautiful, right? Applause for Francisco, guys. Well done, Francisco. Well done, right? Super good, guys. Okay. So Thank guys, you. Um, all right, you can. All right, very good. Thank you for muting yourself. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at, at some examples, guys. Okay, so it describes a noun, right? Hey, guys, let's describe a noun, okay? Um, let's talk about. Let's talk about. Okay, yeah. All right. So, all right. So, 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 what, what type of adjective can you link, you know, to Cheyenne? So, what can you say about Cheyenne? What is, what type of uh, guy is Cheyenne? What do you think, uh, Kalena? Cheyenne Handsome. Is what? All right. Very good. Okay, so, all right. So we'll say. All right. We'll say. You know, Cheyenne. Is. Uh, hold on. I was. Hold on. Let me He's erase old. this. Okay, so Cheyenne is handsome, okay? All right, Cheyenne is old, very good. What else, guys, what mm -hmm. else, what else is Cheyenne? She's a good singer. Cheyenne, very good, is a good singer, very good. All right, um, let's talk about someone, let's talk about, uh, I don't know, Dua Lipa, right? Or Dua Lupe, let's call her Dua Lupe. All right, what about Dua Lupe, guys, all right? Give me adjectives for Dua Lupe. It's a, a pop singer. All right, Dua Lupe is a pop singer. Very good. Okay, what else? What else? He's young. All right, Dua Lupe is young. Okay, this is a Salvadorian version of Dua Lupe. Dua, Dua Lupe, guys. Okay, that's how, it, that's how she's called <laughs> because here. Because it's Dua Lipa, the original, <laughs> right? Yes, yes, but here we have Dua Lupe, right? Okay. Anyways, guys, okay, right? So what is the adjective here? Well, what, where, where, where can we find the adjective here? Cheyenne is handsome. Where is the adjective in Cheyenne is handsome? Handsome. handsome. All right, handsome, right? So the handsome is describing the noun. And which is the noun that we got here? Cheyenne, Cheyenne right? Very good. All right, uh, next one. What about uh, Cheyenne is old? What is the, uh, the adjective in Cheyenne is old? Old. Old. All right, it is old, right? And what are we describing? What is the noun that we're describing? Yeah. 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 All right, again, it's gonna be Choyon, right? Very good. Ch All right, so same applies, you know, same thing applies to um, good, you know, is a pop singer, right? Now is pop singer, guys, an adjective? Yes. All right, is it describing the noun? Yes, it Don't is. phrase, guys, because an adjective, okay? What about Dua Lupe is young? All right, yeah. same same thing, right? So young is describing to a loop, all right? Very good, guys. So that's the basic, guys. I mean, adjectives are more complex than this, okay? However, guys, that's the gist of it, okay? So they, this is the basic, you know, these are the basic, uh, basic examples. Now, um, let's take a look at the first example down here. Uh, let's see, guys, who has not participated? Daisy, Sonia, Irena. Uh, Jocelyn, right? Let's restart. Jocelyn, okay, so let's let's read example number one. Uh, Margot wore a beautiful hat to the pie eating contest. Very good, okay, so the adjective is? Beautiful. So beautiful, and what is the noun that, or pronoun that the adjective is describing? Margot. No, it's not describing Margot. No. Hat. Hat, very good, okay, all right, it's describing hat, very good. Good job, thank you, Justin. And Janet, all right, example number two. Chloe does may overhead in the summertime. 
forbidden furry, furry dogs. Furry dogs may overhead it in the summertime. Repeat, okay, okay. Furry, okay right. Repeat. Summer, uh, furry dogs may overheat in the summertime. Furry dogs may overheat in the summertime. Good job, right? Very good. Uh, where's the adjective here? Furry. Furry, okay, very good. Furry, not furry. Furry, okay. All right, uh, and where's the noun or pronoun that the, the adjective is describing? Dog. Dogs, okay, right. So we have, guys, these are descriptive adjectives, right? Now, take a look at the third example, all right? Uh, Rafa, uh, no, 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 um, Miguel, right, Miguel. All right, let's take a look at the example, that, well, this example. Okay, my kids should have 16 candles. Very good, my cake should, repeat, my cake should, my cake should, should have 16 candles, okay, very good. Should, where's should the, where's the adjective candles. here? What do you think? So if I say my cake should have 16 candles, where is the adjective here? Ah, tricky question, huh? 16 candles? 16, yes, yes, right? This is what I was talking about, okay? Adjectives are not only descriptive adjectives, right? We have different types of adjectives, okay? So in this case, guys, all right, we have, uh, we have 16. 16 is describing a noun, right? What is the noun that 16 is describing? Cake. Candles. We're talking about the candles, right? 16 is referring to the candles. All right. Now, guys, if I'll give you a trick, okay? If you can replace this, you know, with another with a descriptive adjective, then it is an adjective, okay? For example, can we say my cake should have beautiful candles? Can we substitute this for beautiful? Yes. Yes, okay, we can, right? Very good. What else? What other uh, what other adjective could we substitute this with? Expensive. Oh, I expensive candles. Okay, so we can say sixteen, or we can say expensive, right? All right. A lot. A automatic lot. candles. Automatic automatic candles, right? That would be a first one. Right? A lot. A Salvadorian lot Salvadorian technology, right? <laughs> anyway, so uh, very good, guys. Okay. So um, do we understand, guys, what an adjective is? Right? All right, it is very important for you to understand that an adjective is not only descriptive, okay? We have multiple types of adjectives, okay? Like 16, all right? So uh, the reason why, I guess, is because then we are going to talk about describing problems with past participles as adjectives, okay? So this is what's on, uh, what you have on, on the platform, guys, okay? Kalena, hello, Kalena. I like how Hello. focused you are. You, you're paying close attention to everything. Very good. All right. Thank you. At least that's what it seems, right? Like you're watching the TV on the same screen. No. <laughs> All right. No, no, I know that you're not. All right. Very good. Um, so uh, help me read. Um, help me read the description. With now? Oh, uh, my God. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. This. Um, I examples extend are, that. No. Example. Sorry. Are. The jacket. Leaning is torn. Lining. Lining. The jacket lining is torn. Very good. The okay. table, tabletop is damaged. All right. Okay. That right. base is cheap. My pants are stained. Stained. Her sun is stained. Her sunglasses are a little scratched. Scratch. Their knee is scratch. Their new aquarium is leaking. Leaking. Very good. Okay. Applause for Kalena, guys. Thank you, Kalena. Right. Thank you. Very good, guys. Okay. So now, guys, you you do you see what what words? Okay. Let's take a look at the first sentence here. What word do you see in bold font? If you don't know what that means, guys, okay, I say it, bold font. Oh, okay. Okay. So, what word do you see in bold font? Could you explain about what is a bold font? Bold font, guys, uh -huh. is this, this, you know. Okay. All right, so that is bold font, okay. 
highlight. Um, yeah, it's what we call in Spanish negrita. All right. Okay. All right, and font is letra. All right. Okay. But with digital objects. Okay. Um, Thank you. Very good. All right. So, uh, so, so, what, what font do you see in bold, in bold font here, guys? I mean, what, what, what word do you see in bold font here? The adjective. Very good. The adjective. Now, guys, let me ask you something. Torn, damaged, chipped, stained, scratched, leaking. Are do um do these adjectives come from verbs? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. yes okay. Let me ask you something. What is if you don't know the answer, Google, all right? Let's ask Mr. Google. Question for you guys. What is the, 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 what is the, what is the infinitive of turn? The infinitive, guys. Tear. 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 Everybody tear. 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 Tears, tears are tear. the ones, you know, tear. tears are the ones coming out of your eyes when el toxico or la toxica cheats on you, okay? Right, so this is not, these are not tears, okay? These, this is a verb, tear. Tear is tear. like, you know, doing this like with your clothes, right? Like when you're, I don't know, you wanna, you wanna tear something apart, you go like this, right? Like your clothes yeah. or something, right? All right, so that's, that's, uh, that's there, okay? Uh, what about damage? What is damaged? Tear. What is the, 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 the infinitive yeah. of damaged? Damaged. All right, this is damaged, right? What about mm. chip? Damaged. Chipped, what about chipped. What is the past participle? I mean, what is the, the basic chip. form? Chip. Right, chip, right? Very good. Chip. Chip. Okay. chip. Uh, what about stained? All right, stained. Stain. 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 All right, stain. this is stained, right? Stain. Good job. Stain. All right, scratch. What is scratch? I mean, scratch. All right, it's regular, scratch. right? So scratch. Yes. All right, what about uh, leaking? Now, leaking, guys, is in the present continuous form, guys, okay? It's not in, it's not in, um, in leak. past part, okay? But it's leak, okay? Very good, guys, leak. okay? So what what is the point behind this, okay? What, what do we want to get out of here, okay? All right, we want to understand that we're using past participles as adjectives, because turn, what is turn describing? Jacket. Very good, turn is describing the jacket, jacket. see? Very jacket good. Lining. Now, let me ask you something. What is the trick that I told you, guys, what trick did I teach you to understand what, uh, what an adjective is? If you're not sure if this is an adjective, let's say that you don't know this is an adjective. What can you do to determine if this is an adjective? <laughs> The noun. Substitute it, guys. What was the trick? Subst <laughs> substitute it, right? Substitute it for a descriptive adjective. What is a descriptive adjective, guys? Can you give me an example of, when it, of a descriptive adjective? Tom. All right. No, a descriptive adjective, guys. Mm. What is a descriptive adjective? Mm. Beautiful, handsome, guys. Cheyenne, right? All right, very good. Okay, so Laura. All right, so so can we say, guys, Laura? Can we say the jacket lining is beautiful? Yes. Yes. Okay. Is beautiful an adjective, Jocelyn? Excuse me. Is beautiful an adjective? Yes. Very good. So my question was, right? If we can, uh, my recommendation was, guys, if we can substitute this with an adjective, guys, then it is an adjective. Okay, very good. Uh, so damaged, okay, why is damaged an adjective? Uh, tell me, um, Rafael, why is damaged an adjective here? Mm. Mm. Let me see. Because it is describing what? The table. Uh, the table, table. Top. 
tabletop. The tabletop. The tabletop is the noun, right? So it is describing uh -huh. a noun, guys. Okay, so that is uh -huh. why this is an adjective. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. So far, so good, guys. So far, so good. <laughs> yes, sir. Or you're clear, clear, clear as vodka, or clear as the clear, clear, clear or clear as chata. All right. That's awesome. Okay. Clear like chata. All right. All right, very good, guys, very good. You guys, do my favor. If you're not talking, mute yourselves, guys, because there is noise in the background, right? All right, thank you, guys. Okay, guys, we're going to go into uh, more detail with this, okay? Now, with nouns, guys, okay? Um, let's see. Alejandro, uh, please tell me, read. All right, so what are the examples that we have with nouns? It has a tear in it. There's a hole in it. Very good. Okay. Notice, guys, do they mean the same? Are we talking about the same thing here? Yes or no? What do you think? All right. Do they mean the same, guys? These two things, okay, this and this, do they mean the same? Yes. We're talking yes. the same. Yes. Okay. The jacket lining is torn. It has to turn in it. Okay. The jacket has a turn in it, okay, in it. All right, so we're talking about the same thing. So with nouns, guys, what is the noun that we have here? What is the noun, guys? Tear. I tear, okay, all right. Yeah. There is some damage on the top. What is the what, what is the, the, the noun that we have here? Some damage. Some damage, okay. Auspice, right? And the list goes on and on, right? Let's take a look, Miguel, all right? Let's read the rest, all right? So uh, if you wanted to talk about describing problems with nouns, what would be the problem that you would be describing for, for this? The bus, the bus is cheaper. There is a chip in it. All right, with nouns, guys. If I say the vase is chipped, what is the noun? Chip. A chip. There's a chip in it. Okay, there is a chip in it. Very good. Okay. A a a All right. If I say, if I say, guys, my pants are stained. What is the description with the noun? Stains. They have a stain. stain, right? Very good. Okay. Stain. Very good, guys. Right. And the list goes on, guys. Right. So, uh, so we can say, guys, for example. Something is torn, or we can say it. that he has a turn it. Okay, that he that he has a turn in it. Okay, it has a, it has a turn in it. All right. So this is the structure, guys. Okay. All right. Do my favor, guys. Everybody, take uh, grab your notebook and uh, write down the structure. All right. So now with the structure, guys. Okay, you're gonna give me examples as well. All right. Time for you to participate. <laughs> Okay, right, let me write the picture. Yes, okay, all right, very good, guys. So, all right, question for you guys. All right, um, so what is the subject here? If I say my dress is torn, what is the subject? Dress. Dress. My dress. dress. My dress, right? My dress is the subject, okay? Um, all right, what, what is the, the the verb be here? Yes. In the press, yes. okay? Is that in the present? Is is in the present or in the past or in or in present. future? What is in the present? present right. Present. Very good. All right. Uh, and what is the past participle? Turn. Very good. Okay. Very good. All right. So this is the structure, guys. This is the, stru the structure to describe uh, problems. Okay. All right. Let's see, guys. So raise your hand, guys. Raise your hand if you have a problem. If you have problems with your house or you have problems with your car or if you have problems with your clothes, all right? Nobody has um, problems here? Problem with my internet. You're having problems with your internet, okay? Who said that? Uh, Janet, okay, all right? So Janet is having problems with her, her internet, okay? All right. So, um, all right. So, so what is, all right, let's, let's, let's talk about your problem, Janet, okay? We're okay. here to talk about problems. My internet is little damage. All right, everybody send me one example too, right? Uh, my internet, right, is little damage. 
My car is, is that, is that a past participle? Damaged. Damaged. Yes. Okay, is damaged. All right. All right, very good. That, that wouldn't be the, the right uh, adjective I would use, but that's okay, right? My internet is damaged. Okay, now, guys, take a look at this. Are we following the rule here? My internet. Do we have a subject? Is this a subject? Yes, right? Is okay. What is is guys in the in the structure in the structure? Verb what? All right, the verb be right and damaged. What is damaged? Past participle. All right, damaged is past participle. Great job, plus for Janet, guys. Well done. I like that. Okay, good job. Yeah. All right, all right. Who else wants to try, guys? Who else wants to try? Your car are fixed. Let's see. Um, I, the, 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 me me me. Me, 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 all right, let's go, me, me, me. <laughs> <laughs> este, uh, I have problems with my roof. Okay, you have problems so, with your roof, okay, very good. My roof, um, I don't know, <laughs> my roof is... Uh, leaking. Leak, leaking. Uh -huh, leak. All right. Thank you. Has a leak. Uh, now, you can't say my roof is leaked, okay, because uh, you would need to say my room, my roof is leaking. Okay, all right. Okay. So let's change the verb here. Um, what about break? Can we use break? Okay, it's break. So what is the past participle of break? Broken. It's broken. Broken, right? Very good. Okay. So my roof <laughs> is broken. Very broken. good. All right. Great. So job. I have leaks. <laughs> so very good. So there you go. So I have leaks, right? Leaks. Or so. Uh. It is leaking, right? Yeah. Very good. Leaking. All right, good okay. job, Kalena. Thank you. Okay. Well, well done. Okay. So, all right. So here, guys, let's let's break this down. Okay, let's break down the grammar structure. Jocelyn, where is the subject here? My roof. All right, my roof. Very good. Okay. Uh, verb B. Is. Is okay. And then the past participle. Broken. 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 Okay. And then we have a compliment, right? Well done. Uh -huh. Well done. Thank you, Joseph. All right. Very good, guys. Okay. All right. Uh, another example, guys. Who else wants to give me another example? Remember, guys, send me your examples in the chat. Okay. Everybody. Everybody needs to be sending me examples. Okay. All right. Very good. I'm going to pick someone without a camera turned on, guys. Let's see. Juan Hernandez. Hello, Juan. Juan, uh, will you please give me another example? Um, let me see. My car. My car. Is very good. Broke. My car. Let's use a different verb. My uh, car is scratch. Scratch. Scratched. Okay. Very good. Okay. Scratched. I like that. Okay. My my car is scratched. Very good. Thank you, Juan. Uh, Irena Hernandez. Okay. Give me one example, Irena. Irena. Oh, yes, it's here. Here I am. Huh? Um, let me see. My, my TV is, um, is, like my this, TV right? is broken. My TV is broken. Very good. Okay, my TV is broken. Good job. Well, let's use a different verb. Guys, stop using broken. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> let's not use broken That's anymore, right? right? My TV is what? See. Um, my TV is shining or All brighten. Right. Let's oh. use a past participle. Okay, past. Uh, past I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My TV is um, brighten. It is correct. I don't know. No, my TV. Think about another verb. My TV is. My TV is um, bigger. No. No. No, I, I can find another adjective for the TV teacher. That's, that's okay. Right? Use Hel smart. Helper, guys. Helper. I used to. What? Adjusted. Very good. Adjusted. All right. My TV is adjusted. Very good. Okay. Good job, right? This. My TV is adjusted. Very good. Thank and you. I, we have thought about it. Thank, thanks to you. Okay. Great, guys. Now, one question for everybody. Scratch, adjusted, damaged, broken. 
How do we call these guys? What is that describing? Uh, now. Uh, now. We are describing That's something, okay, right? Because we are describing, guys, the magical word is describe, okay? All right? Because we are describing something, guys, this is an adjective, okay? It works as an adjective, all right? All right? So don't don't forget that, guys, okay? All right? Okay. If we're describing, if anything that you say, guys, that describes something works as an adjective. If I say, I have a uh, million dollars, all right? This is, this is not, guys, describing problems. I just, this is an example. Okay? If I say, um, I have uh, one million dollars, okay? Do, do I have an adjective here? Do I have an adjective in this sentence? What do you think? A million, one million. Yes, guys, okay, I mean, one million. Why? Because one million is describing what? Dollars. Describing. Dollars, okay, very good. Dollars. Remember, what is the rule, guys, to determine if something is an adjective? What is the rule? Tell me. What is the it, trick that I taught you? It's something that is the describing a noun. Very good. But what trick, guys? What trick? I, I, I that told you, you can that change. You can, you can substitute. Substitute. Yes. Okay. You can substitute it for an adjective. So we can. Can I say oh, no. I have beautiful dollars? No. Yeah. Yes. Oh. You can say I have beautiful dollars. Okay. Guys, that is grammatically correct, right? I have beautiful dollars. I have uh ugly dollars okay so if you can substitute it with an adjective with, with another adjective a lot, a lot right stuff. a lot of okay that would oh, be an dirty, adjective dirty 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 oh, dollars okay you can say i have dirty <laughs> dollars right nice okay dirty <laughs> right dirty dollars like like a politician right, <laughs> right? corruption so, so i have dirty dollars guys okay i have dirty dollars so see is dirty an adjective is dirty an adjective? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yes. Very good. So you can say I have one million dollars, I have dirty dollars, I have beautiful dollars. Okay. So uh, the point I wanted to to well, what I wanted to point out here, guys, is that anything that describes a noun or a pronoun is an adjective. Okay. It doesn't matter if it is not, you know, a word that sounds uh, a descriptive adjective or not. All right. Very good, guys. So now, guys, how comfortable do you feel now with uh, with uh, describing problems with past participles. Is it clear? Be honest. If, you do, if it is not clear, I'll give you more examples. Uh, I need to repeat the class, all the class. <laughs> Beautiful. That's why, right? Don't worry, because you, 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 you can watch the, the class on YouTube, okay? Yeah. <laughs> no, but, but honestly, guys, but honestly, uh, the, is, is this part yeah, clear, guys? I am honest. Uh, then, then thank you, thank you, right? Thank you, I believe you, right? All right, uh, aside from Rafael, guys, okay? All right, uh, did we understand this part? Right, your hand. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Well, actually, guys, there is, a, there is a way to find out, right? Send me examples. If you make mistakes, then you didn't understand. If you don't, then you, you understood, okay? Everybody send me one example, okay? All right, if you don't make mistakes, then you understood, all right? So that's how I check on you. So did you all send me the examples, guys? Or you're still doing that? So maybe first need to refresh what is the, the past participle adjective, because I have problem with this in the moment. So okay. we can start. All right, very good. Uh, Janet, so what? have the reason. I need okay. to refresh. Don't worry, you're gonna you're gonna practice now, okay? That's how you're gonna you're gonna refresh, okay? okay. All right, very good, very good, okay? All right, guys. So um, so before we jump into the structure with nouns, guys, okay? All right. Practice. Yes, we're gonna practice, okay? Um, <laughs> however, guys, structure with nouns. All right, we're gonna see that tomorrow, guys, because otherwise you're gonna get too confused, okay? Uh, let's practice, guys, okay? What is the biggest problem you've ever had with your clothes? Write that down, guys, because I'm going to stop sharing the screen. What's the biggest problem you've ever had with your clothes, right? So, for example, guys, you can say, you know, um, I, I, I don't like my, my dress because it is, it is torn, you know? Oh, um, I don't, um, my, my, my T-shirt 
is what can I say about my t-shirt, guys? My t-shirt, my t-shirt is torn. My t-shirt has a hole of it, a hole in it. Uh, you can say my t-shirt. My t-shirt is how do we call this? My clothes is very old. All right, my you can say you know my t-shirts are very old, so that that's why they are they are scratched, right? Mm -hmm. uh, my pants, right? What can you say about my pants? And I'm talking about your pants, right? My pants are not iron. I don't know. Iron. Very. I, I like that. Okay. My pants are not iron. See, my pants are not iron. I like that. See? They are not iron. Okay. Very good, guys. Okay. Now, can you use other tenses, guys? Can you talk about this in other tenses? Yes, you can, all right? I'm going to couple you up, guys, okay? And instead of only talking about clothes, guys, okay, talk about anything, right? So I want you to describe to describe problems in general, okay? Problems with, you can talk about your clothes, your computer, your uh, your cell phone, right? Your internet, et cetera, okay? So get together and practice uh you're gonna practice guys for six minutes six minutes and uh, i'll be checking on you okay you're gonna i'm gonna create a breakout session right now guys and i need you to join everything clear so far yes teacher right hold on where do i find i don't see the breakout sessions here hold on oh there you go all right all right, guys, so let's join. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Irena. <laughs> How are you, Janet? Very well, and you? Oh, well, thank you. OK. So uh, I need to understand that I will make another example. Yes. Or part. Okay. Using the past participle, right? Yes. Please go ahead. The first. Okay. My computer is. All. Uh, I think that you have to use a uh, past participle, right? So a past participle. All right. Uh, let me ask you something, Janet. What is a past participle? <laughs> uh, when we use um, the ed in the in the final of the word. No. All right, did you write down the the, uh, the example that I gave you at the beginning of the class? Yes. All right, so according to that, what is, I said, okay, this is what I said. It's a verb, a verb, okay? Remember that, okay? All right, you, uh, one thing I will recommend you guys, take notes, okay? All right, because otherwise you're not gonna remember. It is a verb in its third form, okay? So when you say old, is old a verb? No. It is not a verb, right? So it, it needs to be a verb, right? So now break, for example, break. Is break a verb? Yes. All right, very good. What is the past participle form of break? Broken. Exactly, right? So you can say my TV is broken. Okay. All right. My... Now, do we understand what a past participle is? That was that clear? Now, do you understand yeah, what yeah, passport? Yeah, right, I, I am thinking about another example. All right, very good. You Think about it, guys, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, thank you. Thank We're you. We're gonna check on the other group. Okay. Hey. Nos están grabando. <laughs> Hello, guys. What? Yeah, of course. Everything is being recorded. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? 
No, nothing, teacher. Nothing. That's right. All right, let me hear you guys. Let me hear you. Then they see my the number book one. is damaged. Uh huh. Okay. Good books. job. My book is damaged. We're good. Books are plural. We can use the plural. Or you can books say my books are, are my book. damaged. Uh -huh. My books are is damaged. Are damaged. If you say books are damaged okay uh -huh. good uh -huh. job good job guys good job well done mm -hmm. is crushed all right and girls let me hear you the... okay um my desk is damaged it okay. has has polia has i don't know how you say polia in english Google it. <laughs> How is it? Google it. Google it. Use Google, uh, right? Not I, I Google it already, but it's moss. 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 Uh -huh. Yes. Moss. All right. Uh -huh. So, so you want to say, uh, my desk has moth, moth, uh, moths. Has moths. Okay. Okay. Huh? My desk is damaged. Has damaged. moth. Damaged. 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 All right, very good. Because it has months. Okay, very good. Because it has months. Okay. Good job. All right, Laura. All right, let me hear you, Laura. What What do you have? Hi. Uh, my cell phone fall down, and the screen uh, is broken. Beautiful. Good job. Okay, my cell phone. I well, you say my cell phone dropped, or I dropped my cell phone. I dropped my oh, okay. cell phone all right so now it is broken okay good job girls good job okay you got it okay. thank you okay thank you right thanks my car is the problem maybe my car uh, has a problem with the radiator right i, I don't know it's, it's broken maybe i beautiful my good car, job my car is linking 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 Leaking. Leaking. Yes. Leaking. 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 Hey, hello. Let me hear you guys. Girls. <laughs> Not guys. All right. Uh, so are you practicing? What happened? What happened with with Sonia and you? Are you practicing? Something like that. <laughs> something like that. What do you mean something like that? <laughs> Sonia, are you there, Sonia? Yes. All right. Do you have questions? Uh, give me an example, Sonia and, and Jocelyn. I was writing some some examples. Okay. On my computer. Like my computer is slow. All right, my computer is slow is okay. That's that's an adjective, yes. But remember that we're talk, we're gonna use past participles, right? A past participle is a verb in its third form. So slow, slow is is that a verb? Mm. No. No. <laughs> slow is not a verb, right? All right. What about break? Is break a verb? Break. Yes. All right. Very good. So what is the past participle form of break? Broke. Broken. All right. Broken. So you said, you say, uh, my computer is broken. Okay. Right. You have to my use a verb. It's broken. Okay. There you go. Okay. Sonia, um, do you have a question here? Um, I have two examples. But what? the first is the blows is damaged. Blouse is damaged. Damaged. And huh? the other, the table book is cheap. The table is chipped. You mean, very good. Great, okay, those are great examples, Sonia. Thank you very much. Girls, we're gonna go back to the main session now, okay? Because it's almost time. It's time. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. 
welcome, welcome, welcome back, guys. Tomorrow, guys, we're going to have uh, more practice, all right? Uh, remember, it's only one hour, guys. We can't have, to, to, like, such a long practice during one hour. But tomorrow, we'll have more practice, okay? I hope that you enjoy the class today, guys. Um, please do not miss the class tomorrow because uh, so we, we get to practice more. How do you feel, guys? How do you feel on your first day in, with grammar? Uh -huh. I feel like I don't remember anything, teacher. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Me too. Me too. <laughs> great. Okay. Right. So, great. so I well, need to refresh. That, that to means refresh that means mind. that that means that tomorrow's practice is gonna be great. No, guys, no, I I am going to study the birth. Yes, this please, are, guys, and watch the class. Really right? Charlie. Guys, I'm sorry for interrupting you guys. I have another you class right now. Very, very fast. Okay. Good we night. Good Thank night. you, guys. Thank you, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.